What's up, YouTube? Uh, Flaw Thinker here. Uh, just got back to the house from going to a local card show. Uh, figured I'd go ahead and show you guys some pools I got. Um, I did get some pretty good deals on all these. So even though you see, you might see a price on a price tag on it, uh, that's not what I paid. So, um, first off, we have an Inception Joe Adele rookie card. It says two bucks. I didn't pay two bucks. Next, we got a uh, Blaze Jordan first Bowman. Then we got a Bryce Harper rookie card. Uh, Twenty bucks is what it says. Uh, uh, after the deal, I probably paid about fourteen, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, I got a Mark Mulder patch. I thought that was pretty cool. Got a David Price patch with the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Mascot, I thought that was really cool. I hadn't seen one of those before. Um, I got an Adonis Medina rookie auto. I thought that was really cool. And a Pete Rose, uh, the 1985 card. Uh, I got that for a dollar. That's pretty good shape. Centering's off top to bottom, but other than that, it's not too bad. Um... Let's see. So that was from one seller. Then I got all these from another seller. Got uh, an Aaron Judge rookie card for, it was either 50 cents or a dollar. I don't remember exactly. Joey Votto rookie card for a dollar. Alec Manoa rookie card. Got Trent Grisham. Got multiple Jazz Chisholms. Got a Josh Bell, he's my favorite player behind uh, Juan Soto. Got a Vlad Jr. rookie. Got a uh, Tariq Scooball autograph um, from Panini. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, send that in, go ahead and receive that. Got a Shohei rookie card. And uh, two more Vlad Jr. rookies. All right, so that was from another seller. I believe I paid about 30 bucks for those because of the Vlad Juniors and the Shohei. Um, and then another seller I found, this was the first seller I went to. Um, some of the stuff is football, but that's just because I like this particular football player or both these football players. I got Antonio Gibson rookie card. And then two Antonio Gandy Golden rookie cards. Um, so I collect these select uh, die cuts um, of the every color, but I uh, these are my favorite uh, shape of die cut. I don't know what it is about them I like. It's just that's what I collect. Um, I even have. Uh, the Justin Herbert rookie and that I have a Pat Mahomes um, red kind of like this one uh, to match his jersey uh, in the SGC 9 so um, got a couple Alec Bohm rookies uh, I got a Ricky Henderson uh, this is a 1981 uh, I really like Ricky Henderson um, he's definitely not overrated um, I got a P. Alonzo rookie, got a Victor Robles rookie, uh, Topps Holiday edition, got a Max Scherzer Inception. If I come across anything that's Inception, that's only a few bucks, I'm going to get it because Inception boxes are ridiculously expensive. So, got the standard Victor Robles rookie card, and I got two Luis Robert rookies and the more expensive part of that purchase was this PSA 10 Victor Robles um, I got this to replace my PSA 9 Robles but I didn't pay attention that this one's a chrome and this one's standard so I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just keep both. I might uh, sell this uh, PSA 9 
not sure. We'll, we'll see later. It might go into a, one of the hot boxes. Uh, so that, all of that was about 35 bucks for those cards there. Now, this right here. So towards the end of the card show, there was a gentleman I went by. He had uh, a small showcase. It didn't have any cards in it. Um, they were more high dollar. And then he had a box and it just said $1 each. I started looking through it and I'm like, man, that's a uh, really good rookies in there. He's like, yeah. So the problem is someone came and pretty much bought most of his entire table like at the very beginning of the show. Um, and he was just trying to get out of there. So he said that instead of wasting his time on cards that are $5 and less, he just throw them in a box and put a dollar for each one. Now, a problem I ran into is that I did not have enough money to just buy the, the box outright. Um, I would have in a heartbeat. Uh, if I offered him about $200 cash, he probably would have taken it. Uh, but I started the show with only a $150 limit and I didn't reach that limit luckily, but, uh, I wish I had some more and then I would have just bought the, the box outright. But anyway, so these are the cards that we got for a dollar a piece. Boba Shett rookie, Kyle Lewis rookie from inception, even though Kyle Lewis is yeah, he's been a dud. Nico Horner, rookie from Inception. Nick Solak, rookie from Inception. Green. Those aren't numbered. I got a Cole Tucker out of 300, number five. Got a AJ Pollock out of 300. Got a Jason Vargas out of 99. Got a... Eugenio Suarez out of 300. Got a James Paxton out of 250. Got a Ernie Banks out of 199. Addison Russell at 299. Robinson Cano out of 50. James Paxton out of 250. Gavin Lux rookie green from Inception. Bobby Dalback rookie. Gary Sanchez uh, patch. Then I got a Christian Pache rookie, Luis Robert with the Winston-Salem Dash. So that's the uh, minor league team. Randy Rosarina rookie, another Randy rookie, another Jazz Chisholm rookie, a Jordan Alvarez rookie, Boba Shett, uh, Jake Cronenworth, Javi Baez out of 199, and a Jose Tuve Green Inception. Like I said, this gentleman had boxes full of rookie cards. Um, I can't even count how many Cronenworth rookies, Bichette's, uh, Alvarez, Chisholm's, Rosarina, Luis Roberts, Christian Pache's. Um, this dude had everything. It was only a dollar. Um, he charged me, I think it was, he charged me 25 bucks for these and there's like 32 cards or something like that, 30 some odd cards. So I know if I just gave him a cash offer, a decent one for that whole entire box, he would have just given it to me and then I could have parted it out or I'd just throw it in my mystery boxes. By the way, uh, mystery boxes are up on eBay. Um, I sent one to uh, Eric Jabs from Jabs Family on YouTube uh, for a mystery box Monday opening. Um, I only made 10 of them, just like last time. Uh, these are going to be 55 bucks plus shipping. Uh, there's, if you watch my other video that had some of the uh, Juan Soto prospect cards, the CSG graded ones, some of those are in that, are in with that. Okay, so um, you can wait till that video comes out. Uh, it would be nice if it comes out this Monday, but I don't know if I got it out in time. Uh, if not, like I said, you can wait. Or you can just go on my eBay flawed thinker um, and go ahead and purchase it. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, comment, like. Uh, I love comments. I love reading them. Uh, if you see anything in here you like, just throw me a comment. And uh, I'll let you guys know when I'm going to another show. All right, everybody.